Hello and welcome to this Prospect 365 CRM video where today we're just going to take a quick look at the details tab underneath the contact record. So we've got our contact here, uh, Michelle Jewelry, and we've selected our details tab from the left hand side. So this first section we're going to look at just contains all the name information we've put in previously, we've got an email address and we've got a phone number. Now if we make any changes at all to the email address or the phone number or any information like that, it is saved automatically in the CRM. So if I just click off you can see there's little spinning icon there just represents that that's been saved. There's no actual save button in uh, Prospect 365. Categorization section here includes a drop down menu. This is where we can pick what relationship, what type of role this individual has. Um, if you are an admin user, you will have the configure option down at the bottom and that will allow you to alter and change that list. We then have a job title, which is a free format text box where you can just type in whatever you want. That's usually the information that you receive on somebody's email signature um, or on a business card. Department and alternate reference are also available for you if you want to put in a little bit more information. On the right hand side here we've got our communication which gives us a little snapshot uh, from Google Maps of their location. And remember the location we've got here is tied to the division address that we have set up. Also got the options down here if I was to click on here this allows me to send an email and also make a phone call to the customer. Our activity section down at the bottom here just displays any notes which have been added to this particular record. And we've also got our created section here. So who made it, when it was last changed, just some admin uh, audit trail information there for us.